At a TEDx talk, Dr. Lila Lindowski described the techniques that might be applied to help us learn more quickly. Dr. Lila Lindowski is a neuroscientist and lecturer who has won numerous awards. She skillfully equips individuals with knowledge of how the brain functions so they may make better decisions in their daily lives. This video is to take a deep dive into her idea about the secrets to learning faster. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. Let's take a walk through the neurobiology of six key components that can accelerate your learning. They are mistakes, repetition, alertness, rest, and breaks. Well, let's get started with the basics. How do we truly learn? Thus, the scientific term neuroplasticity refers to our brain's capacity to alter physically as a result of experience. So whenever we learn a certain thing, whether it is information or skill, tiny microscopic connections between nearby neurons in the brain called synapses emerge. And the more we use it, whether it's information or talent, those connections get more powerful and the better. Further, in her explanation, she displayed two neurons that she had filmed in a petri dish connecting. Then she explained the way to connect to each other. Now these incredible hand-like structures here are called growth cones. And every neuron has one. They actively sense the environment around, and they help each and every one of the 86 billion neurons in your brain find the correct place to connect to. Now you can experience things like problems with memory and learning when something goes wrong with that wiring process or even when it doesn't happen the usual way. Children are somewhat smarter than us, right? They just appear to need to be exposed to things, and they absorb what they are exposed to. Have you ever encountered someone with extraordinary talent? And did you think that he or she has a smart trick or magic that we don't know? That's probably not the case. It primarily comes down to how early in life they began learning that talent, as well as practice and persistence. As a result, the earlier the better. Individuals who are so smart and so talented didn't acquire their talents at birth. By the age of five, they had all genuinely begun to practice. But as we get older through childhood and adolescence, it becomes unquestionably harder to learn. And after we reach our mid-20s, learning becomes significantly more difficult. The good news is that there are things you can do about it. Number one, pay attention. One of the most crucial functions is attention. According to studies, these attention problems occur if you use your phone for more than an hour. So, make an effort to use your phone less frequently. Now, there are things like focused attention meditation that you can do to improve if you want to improve your attention over time. You can actually just exercise if you want to significantly shorten the time it takes to increase your focus. Additionally, Studies have shown that consistent exercise enhances memory. Trays is cognitive function. Number two, the next trait is alertness. You'll find it more difficult to remember information if you're not completely concentrated on a task. Adrenaline and noradrenaline are released when our body's essential flight system or sympathetic nervous system is activated and that will among other things, make us more aware. Again, exercise seems to be a recurrent subject. You can practice certain breathing exercises, such as Wim Hof breathing. Simply put, if you have been under a lot of stress, your memory will suffer. Therefore, it is important to be kind to yourself. However, small amounts of stress are beneficial since they enable you to perform at your best. Number three, sleep. The hippocampus, a specific region of the brain, is now recognized as being crucial for memory and learning. Because of this, 
the hippocampus truly keeps track of everything you do during the day. However, it just stores information there temporarily. During sleep, all of those short-term memories are transferred to the cortex and transformed into long-term memories. Thus, you cannot convert those short-term memories into long-term memories if you don't get enough sleep. That is why getting enough sleep is so crucial for learning. Number 4. Repetition When it comes to learning, repetition is essential. Like working out builds muscle, hearing or seeing something repeatedly can strengthen the neural connections and circuits in the brain that are connected to it. This means that it is not sufficient to just hear or view something one time and expect to retain it forever. So, this is what you need to do. Use the spacing approach to spread out your learning over several days and repeat the concept you are trying to learn as many times as you can during that learning period. This gives your education an opportunity to expand on those fresh long-term memories, as opposed to employing the same amount of time on a single day. We are aware that having two shorter learning periods on separate days can produce noticeably superior learning. Number 5. Breaks Breaks have a crucial role in learning. After you've finished learning, make sure to take a 10 to 20 minute break. We'll simply try to complete those routine things that you can complete without thinking too much if you're at work. Additionally, wait at least an hour before attempting to master a similar skill. If possible, do it the following day. Number 6. Mistakes when you make a mistake, your modulators, such as acetylcholine, are released, and your focused attention networks become more active. And that heightened awareness and sense of worry serve a very significant function. So, this is what you need to do. You should prepare yourself for some failure. As you go, test yourself on that subject. Don't hold off on trying until everything is perfect, because if you make a mistake, you will ultimately release neuromodulators that enhance your attention. Additionally, if you do it correctly, your reward circuits will release substances like dopamine that contribute to making you feel good and confident. That is why making learning a little bit of a game can be so effective. So, you know, don't see your anxiousness as a bad thing when you make a mistake because it's truly your brain's way of assisting you in being your best, you can delve into that emotion and keep going. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Let's meet again with another useful video.